What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima Eye Device Viz, and today we're going to be doing something truly original that there's very few of on the internet, and you know, it's just a original content, you know, you're not going to find a lot of these. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to be unboxing the iPhone 7, and I just have to get in on the excitement, even though there's trillions and millions of insignificant unboxing videos online. So, uh, this is the iPhone 7 Black 128GB T-Mobile version. I did pre-order one, however, it's not coming for a week or so, so I went ahead and went to T-Mobile, and I grabbed a 128 gigabyte iPhone. That was actually all that they had, so very limited supply at T-Mobile. They only had three iPhones available, so very lucky to get my hands on this one, but let's go ahead and jump straight into the unboxing here. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to go ahead and pull this tab. This is actually a new way of unboxing. You pull up, I believe, or down, excuse me here. It's definitely a new take on packaging, I guess, so we'll peel that whole wrap off there. And we're just going to go ahead and lift the lid here. And by the way, we have an iPhone 6S over here for a comparison as well. So uh, it's a little bit different than before. When you, know, when you first open the box, you don't see the phone right away. You see some you know, Apple packet pamphlet information here. So of course, you got your instruction guide. You got your Apple stickers. Got a nice new finish there on the back. And of course, you got your terms and conditions, all that boring stuff. Um, and of course, then we have the iPhone right here. So this is the iPhone 7. So looks absolutely great in person. Of course, no headphone jack down there, as you can see, just like that. So let's just go ahead and peel off the plastic. And there we go. So uh, here's the Space Gray 6S over here. So let's give you a color comparison. Of course, the 7 is on the left. Uh, the 6S Space Gray is on the right. So definitely a much darker color available. And of course, there's also the Jet Black for this um, iPhone 7 as well. But the fronts look very similar, but again, the back, the iPhone 7 black is much darker than space gray on the 6S. So let's just go ahead and boot up the iPhone 7 here now. Okay, so of course, in the box, it's not exactly what you'd expect, of course. Of course, you got your wall adapter, but of course, the headphones is when you're going to be a little surprised. Or I'm sure you're not, but it's just something different than what we're used to. Uh, you have lightning headphones, of course, because the headphone jack is now gone. So if we just take this open this thing up here. So these are the normal ear pods, I guess you could call them, but now they're, of course, lightning. If I could actually figure out how to open this thing here. So let's just take these out here. Here we go. I feel, I feel like I can never have a smooth unboxing. There's always like a moment of awkward silence when I'm trying to fiddle with the packaging. But anyways, here you go. Normal app ear, ear pods, normal controls, but again, now they're lightning. So. Definitely weird to see. And of course, you also have your adapter. It's from Lightning to 3.5 millimeter. And you know, I do understand why Apple had to, I guess, remove the headphone jack. You know, it's moving forward, but I don't know. It's just gonna be a little weird getting used to that. But anyways, here's the seven. That new home button, I could already feel it. Definitely a different feel to it. It's not, it doesn't actually click in. It's all through the Taptic engine now. But let's just go ahead and set this guy up. And I'll be back as soon as I do that. And of course, you'll eventually be greeted with the whole meet the new home button screen. So essentially, how the home button works is there's three different modes because now it's not an actual click. It's kind of software based. Uh, there's, there's one mode, which is basically, I think you have to push not quite as hard. So it's a little bit of a lighter touch. I actually like this one. And then the two is you have to push a little harder. And then three, I think you have to push much harder. And it's basically just like the feedback that it gives you as well. Basically how firm the feedback is. One's the least. So I'm going to keep it on that for now, but that might change later. Uh, we'll just go through the rest of this. Zoom, get started. So... All right, here we are inside the device. So just like that, iPhone 7. And again, this new home button, I don't mind it at all. I kind of like it, actually. It just feels a little bit different. And I'm sure it's not quite as likely to break uh, because, of course, it's less just a physical button now and kind of more of a, I don't know, new agey type thing. So definitely feels good there. But there you go, guys. Just a quick unboxing of the iPhone 7. These things are flying off the shelves. Uh, I ironically, I actually went to an Apple store today and they had a ton available, so it's just kind of random from what I could see. A lot of stores have just a couple. Carrier stores, of course, with being you know my experience with T-Mobile, but then also, again, Apple stores. Apparently, some of them have a lot. So if you've tried to get one of these, best of luck to you. But yeah, yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. And I will be making a speed comparison between the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6S shortly, so stay tuned if you're interested in that. And of course, I don't know how I forgot this, but you get the lightning cable as well, just in case you were panicking about that.
basic lighting cable as well. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos on the iPhone 7, Apple devices in general, iOS, jailbreaking, and so much more. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for the speed comparison between the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6S. Peace.